Samuel Johnson has revealed the heartbreaking final moments he spent with his sister Connie before her death. The Gold Logie winner said the pair spent half an hour laughing before she fell asleep and never woke up. While appearing on the Project Monday Night. Co host Carrie Bickmore could be seen choking back tears, as Mr. Johnson vowed to continue his sister's legacy just hours after attending her funeral in Canberra. Scroll down the video, Mr. Johnson added that he now considers himself not just the chief custodian of his sister Connie's legacy, but the head of cancer vanquishment in the country. I will accelerate the push for a cure. I'm not going to stop, mate he told the host. She was training her little brother to do her work when she was gone. I'm ready for that. Just minutes before his appearance, Sam took to the Love Your Sister page to share a photo of himself traveling to the show. Looking out a plane window solemnly, the picture showed him traveling from his sister's funeral in Canberra to the Melbourne studio. Thanks to the anonymous rich person who got me from con service to the project in time, he captioned the moment. It was beautiful, exactly as she planned. Seems weird to apply the word perfect to a funeral, but you know, it was perfect, he later said on the show. The mother of two passed away on September 8 at the age of 40, after a prolonged battle with breast and liver cancer. After Connie's death, Sam confirmed the news with a heartfelt message to fans, informing them that his beloved sister went so richly, and with such grace apostrophe. We lost Connie today. Or, as she asked me to say, she died of cancer today. It was so beautiful. He wrote. We laughed, we cried, we sang stupid songs from our childhood to her, which she loved, mostly. I read her so many village messages, which she relished. Trust me, she was genuinely cushioned by your love, till the end. After his sister was diagnosed, Mr. Johnson began vigorously campaigning to raise funds and awareness to beat cancer. The Gold Logie winning actor rode around Australia on a unicycle in 2013 raising $1.6 million for breast cancer awareness and research. Following the record-breaking stunt he promised to continue fundraising, with the hope of raising more than $10 million. This year he won a gold logie for his portrayal of Molly Meldrum, dedicating the statue to his sister who was watching at home, before retiring to focus on Love Your Sister's fundraising. Connie leaves behind her two sons Willoughby, Eleven and Hamilton, who turns 10 on September 26. A public service for her will be held at St. Paul's Cathedral in Melbourne on September 23.